What's up guys? Today figured do a video. I got to replace this uh, toggle switch in here. Happens to be the import switch. So I got the uh, blade switch in and uh, just to go over this briefly there's you know two different kind of blade switches so this one does not have the spring on it but if we orientate the switch that the screw holes are on the left side and you're looking at it uh, this will be bridge middle neck and then your common and then on this side you got common bridge middle neck so the switch is basically split in half and um, depending on when I get this cover off how this is going to go in I'll show you how to wire it and then we'll also show you how to do the bridge um, tone modification on this type of switch so if, in case you know these switches go bad I had to replace them in you know a few guitars uh, not this five way but anyway uh, the reason for the video is because you got the import and then the blade type switch and some have the springs and you know people get confused on what's what alright so we got the uh, switch or the cover off the scratch plate off and uh, if you look here you can see the circuit board is here and your screws are here and if we look over at this this would be your circuit board port part on uh, the import switch and the screws would be there so going from this lug all the way down one two three four and then five six seven eight you would have one two three four and that's your common here and then they have that soldered right there to number five so four and five are soldered together and then uh, six and seven are gonna go to uh, your uh, tone pots and then this little jumper I put in is the bri bridge tone modification so if we look over here at this switch so if we look at this switch and we turn this end for end that we're gonna put it in this way because we're gonna pretend that this side here is the circuit board and we're gonna put it back the same way and when we look over here at this you're gonna have the same kind of deal so uh, you're gonna have bridge and then you're gonna have middle and then you're gonna have neck and then this over here is your common and then we'll have to solder a jumper wire from this common because this is number four and then on this side will be number five so we'll solder a jumper wire from there to there and then you'll have uh, as we do here uh, between four and five so four and then five then six seven eight you know here so before I do take that out I wanted to briefly go over if you have this switch it's a good idea to mark like one bridge two middle three neck and then four and five are your common six was not used and then seven that's your bridge tone actually it's your middle tone but when you jump six to seven that becomes middle and bridge tone and then eight just goes right to uh, your second tone pot that controls the neck so uh, you wanna always take a picture of it and then you know write it down so another thing worth noting is your volume pot here that also connects in with number four is common that jumps to number five and one other thing is this little toggle uh, knob or whatever tip it's not going to fit on the new one the new switch though does come with black or white so uh, you know it's up to you what you want to use but just know they're different as well all right so the first thing you're going to want to do is add a little flux to each of these lugs and then uh, make sure your wires are tinned now also when you're tinning them don't hold the iron or you're gonna melt that unless it's silicon wire like that blue wire 
and you don't want that. You want to have hot, a hot iron, you want this tinned with flux, and I saw so many people feed solder into, you know, they're holding the gun and they're feeding it in. I don't do that. I'll take some solder, I'll put it on the tip, and then I'll hold the wire, and then I'll touch the iron, and it's done. Much easier, and, uh, you know, a lot of people out there will be like, oh, well, you're going to ruin the tips. You know what? I'd rather ruin the tips than ruin a switch or a component. So that's my tip for use on soldering. Okay, so I think here's a good place to uh, kind of go over what we did. So we got the bridge, we got the neck, or the middle, and then we got the neck along with the Gilmore mod. And then lug four is just a jumper wire that goes over to five. And then this wire is your output wire which goes to your volume control on that lug right there. And then we're gonna continue on. The other thing is, I seen so many people take wires and wrap them through the hole and then that's what they did on this old switch here. Uh, right there they did it here they did it here and then they did it on lug four stop doing that it makes the person if you're not gonna do it work so much harder to get that shit out of there you don't need to do that those solder joints after tinned just stick the the tinning on that tin your wire put the wire on and solder it there if it needs to come off you heat it you pull it the, the wire off and you're done Stop wrapping it around. They ain't going nowhere. Okay, so what we did was I uh, jumped six to seven, and then this volume, this wire right here on seven goes down to the first uh, tone pot. So we got the bridge tone mod enabled here. The uh, eighth lug we're going to the second one here and uh, with that said I do want to mention as you can see here I left my pickup wires long now I see a lot of people cutting them right to size don't do that because if you change pickup switches pots or whatever you might run short on wire as I did I had to take the neck middle and bridge just because of this switch and I would have been short that much stop doing that it's a no-no I don't care you, you don't see this stuff underneath anyway take some wire ties it's always good to have extra so basically we already went over that part we jump uh, the only thing I did do here was I didn't like the way this uh, fourth to fifth the common which goes to the volume pot here I simply unsoldered it here, ran it this way and cut it shorter and then I laid the wires back over that way and then connected the tone pots up. So now we'll test it out before we go putting you know everything back together we'll make sure that we have everything working in order. The other thing before I forget use some flux cleaner and a q-tip and clean all the wires all the joints and get into that habit because uh, you don't want that shit on there alright so I checked everything out everything works uh, so uh, you know to test the uh, mod out and make sure you have that right if you can hear the amp now you can hear it's cut out and you'll hear it darken up and then if we brighten that up and then uh, you know you have the bridge tone right alright so I took the switch apart and what you can see is basically get the glare off there um, it it's kinda like a thin trace so these are real cheap shitty switches and it made a little noise but I used some deoxid on it and uh, then my bridge pickup was cutting out so that is why I replaced it I really don't see anything that stands out 
that would make the pickup cut out other than the pickup itself. Uh, these little fingers in here are what connects like this and this to that. So these are your common lugs here. So whatever position you're in, you know, these basically uh, touch. And the only thing I really see is the fingers um, that are bent there. Some corrosion up there, but that ain't going to matter. And uh, if anybody wants to know, there's a little ball bearing right there. And this is what gives you your five position. If you take this out and you flip it, it will give you a three position switch like uh, you know your normal three position so anyway that's gonna wrap this video up